Hey everyone, today I have a new Lightroom tutorial for you guys and today we're going to be editing the photo that's up here on the screen and I'm basically aiming to create a really nice clean edit of this image with some kind of contrasty colors and the tones all fixed up. So I'm going to show you what I do step by step in order to achieve that look. So in case you're interested, I do have the camera settings up here for when we shot this image. It was taken on the Canon 5D Mark III and the Canon 50mm 1.2, uh, 1 over 320 shutter speed, f3.5 and ISO 800. So this was shot in a studio that had some really, really beautiful natural light. So I didn't use any extra lighting on this day. This image was 100% natural light. So the first thing I do to any image is just sharpen it up really quickly. I don't want to sharpen this too much as it's already quite sharp from being shot at 3.5. So just a little bit is fine. When I'm going to edit a photo, the first thing I like to do is just kind of look at it and take in all the little things that I notice so I can fix them uh, throughout my edit in Lightroom. So the first thing that I'm noticing is that because I shot with natural light, I did slightly overexpose the photo to expose for my model. So the window light up here in the background is very, very overexposed. So I'm going to start by bringing down the highlights to try and save that as much as possible. So I think just about there is looking pretty good. I'm also going to bring the whites down as well since there are still some bright sections around the image. So I don't want to bring that down as much, but I think just about there is perfect. The next thing that I want to do is bring up the shadows to make the model stand out in the image a little bit more and bring a little bit more detail into the, like, the things in the background of the photo as well. So just bring that up a little bit. And then just to add a little bit more contrast back into the photo, I want to pull down the black slider as well. So as you can see, it makes a subtle difference, but it's enough to add that little bit of punch back into the image. I do also want to bring up my actual contrast slider as well. So now that we've altered the tones in the photo, I'm really happy with how everything's looking. The highlights and the shadows, they all work really well together, so I'm very happy with that. The next thing that I'm now noticing are the colors. So to me, the image looks slightly too warm and there are like a slight kind of green tinge to the shadows of the photo. So in order to fix this up, I'm going to uh, play around with our temperature and tint. So I'm going to bring the temperature down a little bit more into the blues just to make the image look slightly more neutral. And then I'm also going to bring the tints a little bit up into the pinks just to balance off that little bit of a green tinge that you can see in the photo. So I think that's looking really nice. I might also bring the exposure up a tiny bit. I think just there looks good. So I'll show you guys a before and after of what that looks like so far. This is the before and this is the after. So if you are a beginner in Lightroom or you're just learning the ropes at the moment, you can definitely leave the image at this and call it finished. I feel like that's a very nice difference between the before and after. This image looks very clean, it's very balanced, and the colors are nice and neutral. But for the sake of this tutorial, I wanted to show you the beginner aspect and then I also want to show you what else I would do to push this image just that little bit further as well. So moving on, the next thing I think I will do is play around with the tone curves. So again, I do want to add that little bit more contrast and punch to the photo. So I'm going to start by making a point down here in our shadows. And if you guys watch my tutorials, you would know that for once in my life, today I am not going to matte the blacks. So today I'm just going to make a point here in the shadows and pull them down and then make another point slightly a bit higher in the tone curve and pull that up. And as you can see, that's added a nice little bit of contrast into our image. Again, it is quite subtle, but it does make a really nice difference. You can even kind of like push and pull it around a little bit until you're happy with what it looks like. So I think for me, I'm quite happy with it just about there. I think there's a before and after of what the tone curve looks like. So then to add a little bit of style into our photo, I also want to create a blue and green, green, <laughs> green tone curve. So we're going to start with blue 
and we're going to add the same kind of S shape to both of the tone curves. So I usually like to make points mostly in the shadows of the image. So with the blue tone curve, I'm basically adding a little bit more of a yellow hue to the overall image. Then I'm going to create the same kind of curve to the green channel as well. And this is basically to add a little bit more reds into our image. So I wanted to make it overall a little bit warmer with the green and the blue channel. So I think there looks really nice. Here's a before and after. As you can see, it's added quite a lot of color into our image. So then the final thing, now that we've done our tones and we've done our overall color that I'm noticing is that it's really affected our model's skin tone. So I'm going to start by bringing down the temperature again just a little bit. I think just about there. And then I'm going to use our HSL tool to be able to uh, bring back the model's skin tone a little bit and make it look a bit more natural. So I'm going to start in the hue and I'm going to be using this tool here, which you can use to click on any color there is in the image and drag your mouse up and down to change what that color looks like. So starting off with the skin tone, you just want to click somewhere where you have uh, like the majority of the color that you want to affect in the shot. So I'm just going to click around here, around her collarbone and just drag the slider up as I want to add a little bit more yellows into her skin tone rather than more reds. So just that tiny bit up around plus four, I think looks a lot nicer. Now we're going to move into luminance and I'm going to do the same thing by dragging the slider up to make her skin tone look a bit brighter. So this will just kind of help her stand out a little bit more in the image. So just about plus three is okay. Doesn't need to be too much. And then last but not least in saturation, I'm going to desaturate her skin tone just a tiny bit. And there we go. I feel like now her skin tone looks just that little bit more natural in the photo. It's not overly saturated, so it blends in a little bit better. So this is my final image. These are the steps that I would go for to create a nice clean edit with a little bit of stylization in the colors of the photo. I'll show you a before and after. This is the photo straight out of the camera. And this is the after photo with all our edits. I feel like when you now look at the before photo, you can see just how yellow it was and it didn't really have that right look. Um, but now we've really balanced out all the highlights and the shadows and the colors as well. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think of this edit. And please also let me know what kind of photos you'd like to see Lightroom tutorials about. Maybe you'd wanna see more indoor photos or maybe some portraits taken at night because I really love sharing these tutorials with you guys. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I release new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so I will see you all next time. Bye.